What you see here is a typical paint effects rendering and animation. Paint effects was a revolution when it was first introduced in Maya in the early 2000s. Uh, I think it was a, totally developed, the whole uh, system developed by Duncan Brinsmead at Alias Wayfront um, in Toronto. And uh, it is not only about the colors, very subtle colors, look at the leaves of the tree for example, um, uh, but also the fast high speed of the rendering. It renders in the Maya renderer, uh, not in Arnold. Uh, you have to convert the paint effects objects into meshes or into NURB surfaces in order to render them in uh, Arnold. But they preserve their animation. And the animation is the other thing because uh, Duncan Brinsmead uh, in, implanted into the paint effects module the simulation of wind and uh, it's pretty amazing what you see at the tip of the leaves of the tree for example they shake much stronger and uh, random of course than for example the branches of the leaf uh, of the tree the branches uh, shake as well very slowly sometimes a little bit uh, harsher even the stem of the birch tree uh, moves a little bit, but that's barely visible because the wind forces are not that strong in this simulation. Okay, that being said, uh, we'll come to a very complex thing, uh, how to enable the simulations, and it's, it's hidden deeply in the user interface, uh, and I wonder why that is, and that's uh, what this tutorial is basically about, because I want you to know that you, that you can animate anything in, in uh, under turbulence and wind fields in uh, paint effects and uh, uh, let me show you another uh, simulation here let's stop this one this is a vine growing on uh, <laughs> very primitively modeled stems of wood and uh, they also uh, move under the wind force this is the scene and by the way you see some shaking here this stem, for example, it kind of shakes back and forth. That's because I activated the uh, detection of the surface here. This uh, part of the plant detects that surface and doesn't want to penetrate the surface, uh, whereas I permitted that penetration for other uh, plants here in the scene. Uh, this one now does not move. And why is that? You can activate or deactivate the turbulence under certain circumstances and uh, as I just said uh, you have to dig deep into one of the menus and I'll show you where that is now. So let's select those which don't move. You see only the right ones move but not the selected uh, vine plant. So we've selected that and you have three nodes. Um, I don't want to explain what they are really are. This is basically uh, the wh where they are, where you painted that stroke. I painted that stroke so it runs up that stem here, that um, that wooden pole here. Uh, the second one is about display and uh, about the randomness. That's uh, you can see that with the seed here. And the third node is the behavior of the uh, and. Uh, and many details of the plant actually and the st uh, strokes you can paint oil strokes as well but they all have the same three menu sets here and we need the third one uh, that's the one before time because it's all going with time um, and um, so the third one shows lots of things and guess where the wind forces are are the channels? No. Brush profile? Certainly not. Twist? No. Thin line multi streaks? No. Mesh? Shading? Texturing? Illumination? Shadow effects? Glow? Tubes? Gaps? Flow animation? Flow animation? Well, I can assure you it's not there. Node behavior? UUID and extra att attributes? Extra att attributes? No, there's nothing there. Okay, uh, to cut the uh, whole thing short, it's under tubes open tubes. Tubes has several sub-menus, creation, growth, behavior, length mappings and user mail scripts. Go to behavior. 
On the behavior you have, submenus, displacement, displacement forces, turbulence, spiral, bend, occupation surface. Um, did I say turbulence? Yes, open turbulence. And here you have the turbulence type set to off. Now when you set it to on, for example to grass wind or tree wind, these things already move a little bit and now you activated the tree wind. Not under any circumstances this will work. And uh, I have a little trick it's <laughs> how to make it work in case uh, uh, you, uh, you plant a stroke and it does not animate even if you switch this turbulence setting on. Let me try to find an example um, for this workaround. I select this surface here and go to modeling. You need to be under modeling in order to see generate and under generate are the paint effects. I make this paintable, the surface paintable. So now I can get a brush, generate, get a brush and I choose a really funky brush like um, fun well I don't know um, maybe this one tree angle and now I can draw this thing here on that surface this is what it looks like it lies flat on that surface and now I go to I run the simulation Actually, I hide the other ones because they slow down the computing process. A stroke of vine, control H. Uh, now let's see what they do. It, nothing moves here, obviously. So that stroke is not animated under gravity. So let's go to our interesting path. Set, uh, select the third node here. Turbulence is set to off. Let's set it to grass wind. Uh, it changes a little bit, so it looks like as it's animated, but when you run the simulation here, and be sure to right mouse click playback speed, set it to play every frame and make uh, maximum is real time, so it has time to uh, run a simulation here, but it goes pretty fast, so basically in real time, and it shows no simulation whatsoever. So my workaround goes like this now. Uh, I'm somewhere in the timeline, and I set a keyframe, for example, for the turbulence frequency. Right mouse click, set key. And now all of a sudden I get this animation. I haven't done anything but just set one keyframe, or a random keyframe, basically. And now you can play with the parameters here, the randomness of the uh, turbulence, uh, the s strength of the turbulence, I mean, and, uh, and lots of other things. Currently it penetrates the surface, as you see, and you find the parameters about um, uh, this behavior up here in the Forces menu, where you can um, activate a surface collide. So the whole plant behaves totally differently now, still dynamically, of course. So that was my workaround in Maya 2018, Hopefully this uh, will be totally obsolete, this tutorial, uh, with one of the next versions of Maya when uh, the complicated uh, findings here uh, will be made much easier. Well, I hope you like it and uh, try to have fun with the complex animation of the strokes in paint effects.